Hey everybody, Ben here, and this is a quick video to show you how to export images and videos from your iDevice without using iPhoto, okay? Now, I know what some of you are thinking, Ben, I've got PhotoStream, I can handle it, no problem. Well, that's true, PhotoStream does work with photos, but it doesn't work with videos. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your iDevice, and you're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need your sync cable, okay? I have the uh, the lightning variety, but you might have the older, the 30 pin. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and uh, take your iDevice and plug it in. There we go. And your computer may automatically launch iPhoto if that's how you've done it in the past. It's fine, nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just that sometimes iPhoto, that import process can uh, be a bit cumbersome and take a lot of time. So instead, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your Applications folder on your Mac, okay? So I'm gonna click on Applications, and I'm gonna go find this really nifty application that comes with every single Mac. It's called Image Capture, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and launch this Image Capture, and ta-da, it saw my iPad. Now, image capture was originally designed to use with uh, digital cameras, and it still works with almost any digital camera that you plug into your Mac. You can pull stuff off quickly and easily. So now that I'm here, see I've got all of these .movs. That's a lot of movies, and I don't wanna take the time to import them into iPhoto. Why? Well, one, I don't want these movies in iPhoto. I don't need them in there cluttering up my albums. And uh, two, um, I just wanna take uh, a few of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this top row here, boop, right there. So these five right here. And I'm gonna come right down here to where it says import to. Where do you wanna put it? I just wanna put it on my desktop. Like I said, I don't wanna put it in my iPhoto library. I'm gonna say import. And now it's gonna go ahead and it's going to copy these movies, or rather import, that's what the import process does to my desktop. Don't have to worry about iPhoto, don't have to worry about uh, cluttering up my albums, and as you can see, it goes a little bit faster than uh, starting up iPhoto, plugging things in, waiting for it to look at everything that's on my device. And there we go, I'm all done, okay? If I wanted to, I could have clicked import all, and I could even go ahead and manage my media right from here. This little button right here, I could click that and I could delete all of these. In fact, I'm done with these videos, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click this little delete button. Are you sure you wanna permanently delete these? Yes. That was a heck of a lot faster than deleting them on my iPad. Uh, or going into iPhoto, importing it, and doing it that way. I hope this was helpful to you because this means I can take my iOS device and plug it into any laptop. I don't have to plug it into the one that I usually sync with. I can go ahead and plug it into any laptop or at least any Mac laptop and use image capture to pull those pictures and videos off. There you go.